Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another um, RebelScum.com live reaction to some new toy reveals. Specifically, we are covering the 2024 NYCC panel reveals from Hasbro, specifically their Star Wars. But we're going to go back a couple of minutes, actually just a couple of minutes, into the Transformer reveals where my friend Nate was showing off some really cool crossover pieces. Hey, look, there's Nate. Um, and I'm cool toy review, uh, shameless plug. Um, I'm very excited about the upcoming Studio Series Devastator and for cool toy content that's non-Star Wars and for cool Transformer toy content specifically, check out CoolToyReview.com, our sister website where we cover all kinds of awesome non-Star Wars toy news, reviews, and more. So here is the Mandalorian as the N1 Starfighter. Star Wars and Transformers collabs are coming back it seems, and this is... This is one I'm very excited about, you guys. I really, really like the Star Wars Transformer collabs. And going with the Mandalorian, I think, was a really cool way of introducing this since Mando is kind of you know, united the Star Wars fandom when he came back and a lot of people really loved the Mandalorian. Din Jaren's a very good character. And the N1... I gotta say, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice to go with because, I mean, it, it's a nice, sleek little vehicle. I think it translates into a kind of regular-ish size character well, which is definitely what they were going for here. So let's see what they have to say about it because, I mean, obviously they're announcing it and have have cool stuff to say with our good friends over at star wars uh i know we had some star wars items way back in the day uh but bringing that back in and of course with the mandalorian you know one of the hottest properties out there right now with a live action film coming um but love this n1 starfighter and the and the accessories our designer brian did an incredible job to create as a stand as well um and this is a walmart exclusive pre-order is live right now and then our other collab is our naruto one when we select properties so, um, yeah, a really cool collab, really cool looking piece. Um, I guess ooh, went too far. Uh, I guess I didn't go too much into it, but I really like how the stand breaks out into accessories for him, how we're getting an energy shield, although rather large comparatively for Din Djarin. Um, really cool that a really cool way to incorporate the display elements of his alt mode into the piece. Um, it's going to be a Walmart exclusive, so we'll have to keep an eye on it for Walmart pre-orders. Guys, when it comes to Hasbro pieces right now, especially with Walmart, try to pre-order your Walmart exclusives versus trying to find them in the wild. As a collector, as a hunter, I've noticed over the years, Walmart doesn't tend to get a lot of their store exclusives on shelves like Target does, where there seems to be a pretty decent mix of getting those pre-ordered exclusives in hand and finding them on shelves. But with Walmart, it's more of, well, really the only way to make sure you get it is to pre-order it, unfortunately. And even sometimes that can be a gamble. Is, and with recent Walmart exclusives, we've been hearing about a lot of cancellations or damaged packages because Walmart just has a hard time with shipping their exclusives for some reason or at least safely for some reason so um, if you're really excited about this guy definitely try to pre-order him uh, over trying to find him on the shelves um, and this is a let's see what else they got because there was some other really cool stuff in the main Star Wars is that working line so here we we're go. gonna start with black series by the way um There's next year is the 20th Jean. anniversary of revenge of the sith i'm so excited it's one it's personally my favorite movie um i'm sure we all have chills from that movie and i'm excited for that 20th anniversary so we'll do a little mini beat next year with black series um and we have a capsule program with the next item starting with cap clone captain cody 
I love Cody. This He comes updated in his new clone body, which is great because we love new articulation, updated articulation. He also, for the first time ever, has that removable helmet with the generic portrait underneath. And he also has um, a deco across his chest, which we inkjet just to make sure we get the detail just right. And you can see him holding there his new um, Order 66 Palpatine hologram, which, you know, chills, right? That moment changed everything, changed history, execute order 66. Anyways, so yeah, he will have that blaster as well. Um, and we're excited to bring him as the first of the capsule program exclusively with Walmart. So I'm excited to partner with them. And what's great about this item, I'm sure some of you might have seen, is the packaging. Such a throwback. Ooh. From that 2005 line look, movie line look, scaled up to that six inch scale. Um, amazing look. I love that card back so much, especially because you can see that Vader uh, outline and silhouette. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> Um, and like Anakin and Obi-Wan dueling in the background, it just looks amazing. So this is the first in the capsule program, more to come hopefully early next year. And what's great about partnering with Walmart especially is because they are really in tune with the collector and they want to make sure that you guys get these items uh, well um, marked. So they're marked handle with care, they're marked fragile, and so everyone can complete their collection and start their collection with this in a great fashion. All right, so these are exclusive for Walmart. Um, so get them today. Actually, pre-order is right after this panel at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Yes, right after this panel. You guys better be on your phone ordering this at Walmart CollectorCon. So go to walmart.com. And if you want to see it live, you guys, lucky folks, can stop by the Walmart booth at 2843, the FanMart booth there, and take a look at it in person. So lucky you sitting here right now. I know where you're going after this, right? Yeah. Um, okay, and that is a screen exclusive for next year. Moving on, I have six more. I'm really excited about this. This is a really awesome announcement. Um, a couple of things, though. Fun fact, Cody was never released in the Revenge of the Sith toy line, which is super weird and ironic, considering when I think of Revenge of the Sith, the most significant clone character to the movie, in my opinion, would be Commander Cody. Um, and so I've always thought it was strange that he never got released in Revenge of the Sith. He got released in three three quarter scale based off of his appearance in the live action movie. For the first time in 2006 in the Saga Collection toy line. So he was actually never on that style of card back. Although a very cool and very exciting release. A very great first piece to start with I think in my opinion. And I'd be willing to speculate that that new Black Series Emperor Palpatine. Or rather Darth Sidious as it was labeled for... Revenge of the Sith and the Phase 4 packaging, I believe we'll probably see that get repacked on this card since it's a relatively recent release. Um, I'd hope that we're going to get an update to Anakin, um, maybe maybe a more better updated face sculpt, maybe a newly tooled figure entirely. That one might just be due for that on that Revenge of the Sith card. Maybe we get a totally new Revenge of the Sith Kenobi or another re-release kind of similar to the Archive Kenobi we got on that Revenge of the Sith card. There's a lot of cool uh, pieces that they could easily put on that Revenge of the Sith card back that exists within the Black Series currently. But conversely, there's also a lot of toys and characters that came out in the original Revenge of the Sith toy line that have yet to see the light of day in a Black Series release, period. So, you know, there's a lot of cool possibilities with this lineup. But knowing Hasbro, I think it's more likely that we'll see, you know, some re-releases depending on how much they really want to fill out this Revenge of the Sith card back line. And hopefully, now that we've got a Revenge of the Sith card back piece coming, and we've already had some Phantom Menace pieces coming, maybe Hasbro will circle back around for the 25th anniversary of Attack of the Clones and do a carded piece from that lineup since they skipped it 
during the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. If memory serves, Hasbro didn't really do much of anything for the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones, which is kind of a shame. It was a really cool movie with a lot of really cool toys. But that's okay. There's more anniversaries to come in the future with more awesome toys for them to fill those lines out with. What else is coming? What else do we have? Reveals for Black Series. It's a full wave. A full wave? Okay. For Skeleton Crew. Oh, I'm okay. so I've been excited for the show to launch later this year. Yeah, um, So too. we'll go through these fairly quickly. So the next four, I'm just going to reveal at the same time because I can't not reveal them at the four time. It's the stars of the show. The kids, Wim, Fern, Neil, and KB. Ah, oh, darling. I like Neil. Love them. I okay, think so I'll go through them Neil, fairly though. quickly. I'll start with Wim. Wim is a brand new tool. Oops. Brand new tool. Um, and he comes with a removable backpack. He actually quite has quite a few tools. Um, he has that walkie accessories. He has that walkie talkie. Um, he has the flashlight and he has like this wrench looking tool. The backpack is removable, so you can see him kind of play with it. And because he is brand new, he has all that latest articulation. So I love when they do that kneeling pose. And he also has other accessories on the side pocket that's not removable as part of the backpack itself. What so is he is a mainline figure. All of our Skeleton Crew figures that we're revealing today are not up for pre-order. What is, what is that claw-looking thing? What is that? I wonder if that's some kind of artifact, maybe, that they find in the cave. Maybe that's some kind of MacGuffin or something. I don't know. But that's, that's kind of what keeps catching my e eye here. Not so much the wrench or the flashlight or walkie-talkie although it's kind of interesting to just see a walkie-talkie cool that we have a flashlight because flashlights we have seen in Star Wars quite a bit in the past so that one doesn't really feel too out of place and that's a very Star Warsy looking wrench the walkie-talkie is throwing me a little bit but that's okay other than that this is pretty cool I'm very curious about this accessory though I'm sure more will be revealed as Skeleton Crew comes out which couldn't be sooner anytime there's something new with Star Wars, especially new conceptually. I'm very excited for it. So uh, this is this definitely falls under that category. But they are out this fall just in time for the show. So watch oh, the show. Really Go quick. to your local retailer and nice. buy it there. Nice. Nice that they're getting the timing. Take on a these quick look at better. the packaging. He starts our new line look uh, or the first look that you see the line. He is number three in there. We thought we went back to moving gold, on though. to the next one. It's kind of kind of close to the Phantom Menace and the Clone Wars in packaging color. Um, you see Fern and Fern. What I really love about Fern is that she has that big jacket that has those stitches and patches that we yeah. did inkjet to get the details just right. She also has a flashlight. Kind of reminds me of Han Solo's parka a little bit from Empire Strikes Back, but with a bunch of cool patches on it. Also cool to see a patch jacket in Star Wars. Neat. Light accessory that goes into the side of a removable backpack, as you see here. Mm -hmm. Also removable, of course. And a quick look at packaging, if this works. Yep, and so she's number four in the line look here. So it's just a quick look cool. at the packaging. Yeah. Looks good. Next kid, my favorite. Neil, yeah. the cutest. Yeah. He's so adorable. Neil looks and there's cool. um, some unique like, development that went into him. I his like the uh, hair. nose and his ears hanged out lower than his neck. Um, mm. So we really had to test to make sure that he still has that full range of motion, his articulation that we expected from him. He does have a walkie talkie, a flashlight, and binoculars that come with him. And the walkie-talkie and the binoculars actually hook onto the side of his belt as well. So like we that. love little details like that. And, of course, a removable backpack. All the kids have a removable backpack. They're going on an adventure. right? They need to store their stuff somewhere. The binoculars might be one of the cutest things I've ever seen for this already over-the-top cute action figure. I made, yeah. like, an audible, like, oh, binoculars noise, <laughs> which is also so weird. Binoculars. I've like, never heard people say, oh, for binoculars. But but it's very cute, though. Yeah. I love it. These are, these are delightful. I'm sorry. You please. have a polar bear. I have this alien. <laughs> Let's battle. <laughs> That's true. They did, I love that. They did just announce a six-inch scale polar bear for G.I. Joe Classified earlier in this panel. And if you're a Joe fan... <laughs> It's very cool. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that um, 
see that mold get adapted into other six inch scale toy lines especially you know probably something for marvel legends most likely but very very cool uh to see what they did with that just a side note for something not quite star wars but also very cool this <laughs> Um, and here's a quick look at the packaging. He's number two, and that's side art. My gosh, yep. my heart. I like He's it. He's so adorable, those eyes. <laughs> okay, next on the final kit here, KB. Um, also comes a removable back, uh, backpack and a flashlight. And for details, we like to get that purple streak in the hair, um, and the flashlight plugs into the side of the backpack. Um, what else? And she's mainline fall of this year as well. So with all these kids, Cyber. they go on an adventure and they meet a mysterious figure. So the next reveal... The cybernetic implants on this character are very cool. I like the Cyclops X-Men <clears throat> rig she's got going on here. Looks like we got another flashlight. Um, yeah, this is this is a really cool character. I, I'm wondering because, you know, she's in a jumpsuit, like a mechanic almost. So, given the time period of when this is set, I'm wondering if this is like maybe some imperial refugee type thing or a relocated thing where maybe she was a cyborg kid under the Empire at one point and her family got relocated to this other planet under the New Republic or something given that – because this is set – shortly after season three of the mandalorian from what we've heard so far or from what i've heard so far so yeah the the, the timeline kind of adds up i mean especially given that it's a great jumpsuit i don't know i'm just making speculation all that we had to get in after we saw him in the trailer oh first you the packaging jod not nawid so obviously we saw him in the trailer and we just had to get him out. Um, he's really cool looking. He has this big coat. He also has this head wrap that goes on and off his head. Like and one of the most unique accessories that I've seen is I just really that like those that pistol. Yeah, that's that cool almost too. looks like it reminds me of like old pirate Flintwood kind of pistol, Flintlock. and it works yeah. and it plugs into his working holster on the mm -hmm. side as well. I like that. He is a brand new. Tool. Fun fact, not the first Star Wars character, especially in Black Series, that we've had with a flintlock-ish style blaster pistol. Um, Zori Bliss from Rise of Skywalker, her blaster pistols are very much that kind of style. Uh, Janna, also from Rise of Skywalker, her blaster pistol's kind of like that too, but in a more scavenger-ish way, because um, it's got like a, like a tooth, I think. Or some kind of horn is the handle of that blaster pistol so but in terms of shape and design wise it's kind of flintlocky looking but yeah uh, not the not the first time we've had a blaster pistol like that and in three three quarter scale in the clone wars toy line hondo onaka had a very flintlock style blaster pistol even though we didn't see that blaster pistol in animation he the toy came with a very cool one and he also had a cutlass style sword for that toy very cool. Cool as well. So we're really excited to get him out there. And he starts our Skeleton Crew line look. So he's number, oh, he's one, number one in cool. the line look. And obviously portrayed by a great actor. So we're really excited to see him yeah, out Jude there. Yeah. And then like also Law. our final Black Series Especially reveal, Pirate Law. Captain Brutus. So menacing is Lots the word blasters. that I would I describe that. him. Um, and not only is he menacing in appearance, he is ready to back that up because he comes with five weapons. So five um, pistols, two of them that uh, go into the one around his hip and then three across his chest as well. So they all have working holsters. And we love to get creatures into line, also a brand new tool. Um, and I think the first one we've done in Black Series of this species, so we're really excited to get him out. Quick look at the packaging. He's number six in the lineup. And again, all of these figures are not up for pre-order, but they are on shelf later this fall, so get them. Just. I wonder if he's a Shizofanin, however you say it. The the wolf, same Wolfman race as Volvith Mon and Lax Sivrak, and that other guy 
that's coming in the uh, VC Cantina, whose name I can't think of at the moment. I wonder if he's, wonder if he's the same race as them. If so, that's pretty cool. And our first six-inch scale release of one of their race, which hopefully would lead into a Volvith Mon, because he was a really awesome Jedi from the Clone Wars Tartakovsky series, and of course Lax Sivrak from the Cantina. I, while it's awesome, we're getting the VC Cantina and. Black Sivrak needs an update for VC because he's got the Power of the Force 2 figure only right now. Um, it'd be cool to get uh, some more Cantina characters in 6-inch scale as well, I think. But we also need to get this guy in VC because I don't think he got announced for VC. I know Jude Law's character totally did, which is coming up, but that might be the only skeleton crew figure that did get announced for VC. So hopefully this awesome character is coming in vc because he looks gnarly and he comes with five blasters i love when a character is just totally just decked out in weapons especially blasters another really cool release that i really like is the uh black series migs mayfeld from his season one appearance of the mandalorian because he also comes with just a bunch of blaster pistols and i'm a big fan of a bunch of blaster pistols. That's that's just really awesome. All right, let's keep going. It's in time for you to watch the show. Mm -hmm. All right, that was Black Series. We're gonna move over to the Vintage Collection now. VC, let's do it. I love talking about the Vintage Collection and we're gonna do something a little bit different for the Vintage Collection because in this collection, we know that people collect based on so many different entertainments. They have so many passions and their favorites. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to tell you what we're going to reveal today by giving you a little bit of a road map of everything that we're touching. I'm not kidding when I say I have a lot of reveals to go through and I'm not, oh, good I'm good on hear. time. I can, I can talk. Crew, um, all right. So for the, Empire, for so the four Wonderful. entertainments we're hitting, we're going to hit Skeleton Crew and then we're going to go Skeleton classic crew Star Wars first. A New Hope and the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. And then we're going to go to Ahsoka, another new entertainment. So I'm so excited to hit all of these. Let's start mm -hmm. with Skeleton Crew. Yes. So we just saw this figure um, in Black Series. Again, had to get him. So we had to add him to the Vintage Collection as well, Jod introducing Na Jod Na Nawid. Um, so he, he comes to the Vintage Collection, and same details. He has that large coat, that large plastic coat. He also has that removable head wrap that goes on. Judd Na Na Wood, um, that, that's going to that's gonna be an interesting name to say a lot. I mean, try saying that five times fast. Judd Na Na Wood, Judd Na Na Wood, Judd Na Na Wood, Judd Na Na Wood, Judd Na Na Wood. Okay, I guess it's not that hard, but still, I mean, it seems like it might be. On and off his body, and he also has that weapon. So brand new tool, um, and that weapon plugs into the holster in his hip. All the latest articulation, rocker ankles, barbell hips, all of that. So we really love to include that in this figure here. Mm -hmm. As for packaging, here's a quick mm. look at the packaging here. I love how clear we can see nice. the actor and the entertainment in this. That's a good um, and he is VC310. Yep. Nice. He is also a mainline figure. Again, not available for pre-order for a skeleton crew, but he is on shelf later this fall, just in time for the show. Very nice. Moving on. So following our road map, as we look at refreshes to bring to the line, we were really excited to bring some cool aliens, especially for those fans that are building out That's their return to Tatooine display, right? I wonder right? if that means People are Pana doing Baba that. is not far um, So... He is great to bring back to the line, especially because we get to update his right mean now. mug the, with inkjet the black uh, portrait. So that is so something that's really unique about him. Of course, he comes with his blaster. And what I really like about this figure is that you can see, like, just like our favorite bartender, a little peak of chest hair underneath as well. <laughs> just details. I love to tell you all the details here. Um, he is a refresh, but we did get the chance to update his car back. And of course, if we're touching the car back, we have to go Cantina for obvious reasons. So the car back here you see is of the Cantina, and he is BC57. He is a fan channel and Amazon exclusive. Um, so he will be. So that means you can get it with our friends. Big Bad Toy Store, EntertainmentEarth.com. 
you will be able to get it on Hasbro Pulse specifically and Amazon. On shelf spring of 2025. He is up for pre-order. So this is where we get to, you know, bad, combat each other for pre-order details. October 23rd, not 22nd, 23rd at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So they, they thought it was all going to be on the 22nd. So. Which will be this Wednesday. Today is Monday while we're live right now. October 23rd is this Wednesday. So that's coming up in a couple of days, guys. Oh, joke's on you. Uh, oh, yeah. No, that. we'd like to keep you on your toes. The 23rd at 1 p.m. Eastern time for Amazon. Uh, fan channel, Amazon, including Hasbro Pulse. So get it there. Okay, our roadmap. Next one, Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars Empire Strikes That's Back. Amazing. We're really excited as we think about that entertainment. What are we missing? Love to bring a trooper. That's a big. That's oh a yeah, one. sorry. I don't see the slides in <laughs> front sorry, of me. We had to add <laughs> Doctor Mazan. Yeah, kind of, like angled a little. I'm there sorry. Is, I'll scooch there's Amazon the, uh, yeah, the. It's okay. He's in so the we, we wanted to add Doctor Mazan to obviously our diorama. You guys know we're building a diorama of all the Return to Tatooine figures. So we Looks revealed good. this. We're gonna add it to the the dio, and there's more to come. There's more space there. So excited to see what else to come. Anyways, going back to my original spiel, if you guys did not forget, we are introducing the Snow Trooper, and we are so excited for the Snow Trooper as we think about troopers to bring to the line, especially for such a classic show. Um, he is a brand new tool, and he is fully ready for the cold weather. And this, guys, is actually a really awesome release. Hasbro's been riding the same Snow Trooper mold for their... VC Snow Trooper for almost 20 years now. The best regular and most articulated Snow Trooper we had came out in 2006. Also had a cloth goods comma, but this one looks better, a little bit more screen accurate. Uh, even the helmet, I like the cleaner looking helmet. Nice shiny white plastoid on. The shoulder pads there, the chest armor, the gauntlets. I'm really digging this new storm, stormtrooper in cold weather gear. Snowtrooper. I almost just called it a regular stormtrooper. Um, yeah, I'm really digging this new trooper. It looks so good, guys. This this one is a must. I wonder if it'll have a removable helmet though, like the last one did. Insulated. Um, you know, jacket, and he has cloth wrappings around him as well. Um, and he is obviously a fan favorite, a fan voted. He's been in fan polls for the past three years, so we're really excited to bring this classic trooper out to the line. Comes with this E11 blaster as well, um, and he also comes with a plug-in backpack that goes into the back and that high-gloss armor. And of course, as a uh, new tool, he's highly articulated for all of your like battle scene back. poses that you want to pose out, so we're really excited for that. And he is VC349, also fan channel on Amazon, available spring of next year. Jeez, that's a big jump from 310 or 311 that we were on earlier. Spring of 2025. Pre-order, October 23rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, moving on to our next and last reveal. Um, so the next one we're going to do is Ahsoka, following our roadmap. And it's a bigger one this time. I see your polar bear. And I raise you, <laughs> a howler, nice. a dog. The howler. Now, I honestly did not pay enough attention horse. to know you were doing polar bear, but this is perfect because we can horse. definitely battle it out. Oh like no, it. we will 100% <laughs> be battling. It. I'm very excited. Interesting for this that we're happen. getting another Sabine with it. I mean, um, I get so why. So we're excited but. to bring the howler and Sabine Wren uh, to the vintage collection. We like love to bring uh, creatures too. to the collection. It's so exciting to us. It's a classic story of a girl and her dog. So we saw it in the show, couldn't pass it up. We had to bring it into the line. Um, the Howler obviously is brand new and he uh, has that spray paint deco around his fur. And I love the articulation the team really put into this creature. Um, it looks like it's got quite a bit. Jaw looks like it's jaw might articulate a little bit. Got some articulation on the reins there. Looks like there's something right here, which is why I feel like it's just the jaw. Looks like the head is going to articulate around where that tuft of fur pops out. I know y'all can't see my cursor right now. I'm John Maddening. 
Um, it's so funny. My editor was like, hey, do you want your cursor visible while you John Madden? I don't know. Um, I guess I do now. Let's see. Where was that? That's okay. Um, looks like we've got hips and shoulder articulation, elbow and knee articulation, ankle on all four legs, articulation at the base of the tail, maybe something in the waist uh, just above where the strap of the saddle goes around the tummy of the wolf horse, but... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it does have guard articulation. Really cool looking Sabine. I like that. It's looking like it might be a swappable head rather than a removable helmet, maybe. Um, I'm sure she'll say more about that here in a second. Although, I gotta say, while it is a really cool Sabine, I feel like they probably should have packed in Shin with the Howler. Because she also rode a Howler. I know, the, we saw it with Sabine more. But, hear me out. We've gotten two other releases of Ahsoka Sabine in VC already, I believe. Yeah, I want to say one or two. At least, yeah. Um, Shin has not been released in 3-3 three, three quarter scale, period, yet. Now, she's got two Black Series releases. She just got her re-release. It's the same figure with a cape and the face, 4.5, 5.0 box, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's it, but I feel like this would have been a good opportunity to release Shen into the line and a new creature mount. I mean, I'm sure they probably still have plans to release Shen sometime soon, and Balin hopefully, and hopefully they make Balin a little bit taller in VC since they missed it in Black Series twice now, um, but... That is a really awesome Sabine. Hopefully there's a Shin coming soon. Is um, so he make. has articulated, I'm gonna list a lot of articulation here. Articulated hips, articulated angles, articulated little joints above his paw, um, articulated uh, knee, ankles. articulated tail, yeah. neck, and opening and closing jaw. So Called all that nice. great dog-like poses that you guys I know are itching to pose out in your collection, he has it. He also comes with his saddle and reins so that Sabine can ride him. Of course, right? Girl and dog, you ride the dog. Ride he, the dog. He's yeah. obviously a great big creature that we saw in the show. Um, and as we look at as we look at the howler, we really think we really, you know, Emily, the art designer, did a great job thinking about what poses do we need to make sure he can get. So he actually comes with alternate ar alternate legs. Pause hind legs, um, so that he can do this howling at the moon, uh, moon pose, which we thought was really important to achieve. That alternate legs has less articulation for obvious reasons, but it gives you the chance to do this pose, which we thought was really important. What other pose is really important? How about dog shaming pose? Oh, so we no. had to do that as Poor well. We guy. had to make sure that he can lay flat, you know, but as Sabine nice. is scolding him for running away from battle. That's um, so did. all of that we kept in mind. So we wanted to make sure that he has all that great. This is going to be the new word that fans are going to tease me about. New articulation so that he can really do all that great posing. And as for Sabine, um, she comes with all that great deluxe deco that we expect from Sabine. She also, in previous images you might have saw, has that cloth cape around her, so that's new as well. She Poncho, comes with two blasters, yeah. her lit, unlit lightsaber, and we listen to you guys. She comes with an interchangeable helmet that is now proportionate to her. It's proportionate to her uh, appearance, to her body. So we're really excited to do that. And she is VC352. She is a mainline figure available summer of mainline. next year. And a quick look at the packaging before we end. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we really thought about all the great scenes that we saw in the show to build out. Okay, so her being mainline, that opens the opportunity for, you know, maybe Shen to be released as 
a regular single card release and then do an exclusive release of Shin with her Howler. Maybe also the same could happen for Balin. But first things first, we got to get Balin and we got to get Shin in the VC line before that could happen. And hopefully it's not before an exclusive release of those characters uh, come out because, I mean, that would just... I, I could see how getting a main character like that as an exclusive before in mainline would be kind of frustrating, which is how they treated Shin and Balin in Black Series 6-inch scale. So, again, hopefully that's how they treat them in VC, where they get some mainline issuances and then maybe do these cool concept ideas that I just threw out there. Up in the diorama of the packaging, and she comes in that new deluxe card back that you guys have seen a couple months ago. All right, so that was it for Star Wars. That was a lot. Um, kind of interesting. She's coming on the deluxe card back. Before, one more thing before I move on to Marvel. Just last thing uh, for the Ghost Hazlight for all the fans that backed it. Thank you so much. It's been a year. We're so excited. It is coming, like yes. we promised, this fall in December. Um, so December is winter, but close enough. in time for Christmas, your birth, your own present to yourself for Christmas, and I love that, you know, maybe fans can do some unboxings with it soon. Maybe we'll do an unboxing with it soon, so more you, to come. You already know we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Ghost as, as soon as our order comes in, so stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, uh, they did announce that it is coming in December, so... Uh, part of the reason why there was such a wait on the ghost getting shipped out, you guys, I know that many of us have been patiently and very eagerly, eagerly waiting this incredibly huge vehicle in VC. But Hasbro did have some issues with its test shipping. And what the test shipping is, is basically they would take a few samples of some of the HasLab ghosts that they got in that they could ship from one end to the other and, you know, see how it fared once it got to their hands and then, you know, sent to our hands. And there were issues with it, you know, going from point A to point B with it coming damaged at point B. And with a piece that for many of us is a very exciting piece and for some of other of us um, a investment piece it has to come in right especially since it was such a big and expensive campaign for some of us so uh, I appreciate Hasbro taking extra care and steps to ensure that our HasLab products arrive to us safely because they are such high-end collector pieces um, especially from them so really i really do appreciate the sentiment there anyway there were some pretty cool reveals i wouldn't say there was a ton of vc reveals they, they, they like to say there's a lot when it was like four but of the four vc reveals we got hopefully there's more to come no there was there's was, yeah no there's four uh there were some really cool ones first of all um jude law's character that that one coming in vc so quickly and just not going to pre-order they're bypassing that it's just supposed to be showing up on shelves well they said fall so we're on the second half of october so that could be any day or week now guys so make sure you're keeping an eye on your toy store shelves for those upcoming uh, skeleton crew figures because they could be popping up any day now probably We'll probably start seeing them early November, I'd wager. Just based off of when some things, I think, recently got restocked in the area. Yeah, I'm thinking probably November-ish. Expect that. Um, and, yeah, a lot of really cool stuff in Black Series. We got a bunch of the Skeleton Crew characters, five, coming in black series already where we only have 
one in VC. So hopefully we get those VC numbers pumped up because there's some really cool main characters coming. And now that we're getting more of these skeleton crew kids, um, hopefully that means there's a young Luke and Leia from Kenobi to finish out our Kenobi line of characters at some point in the new near future because it's awesome to have Kenobi, it's awesome to have Lola, but it'd be really cool to have Leia right there to go with him and Tala and a few of the other awesome characters that we got from that series. And I would also like a Raja. I would also like a Raja in Black Series 6 inch scale and VC. I think he was another pretty cool and funny character to see in Kenobi because we don't really see a lot of Star Wars grifters, especially Jedi impersonators, especially in an era where Jedi are being actively hunted by the Inquisitorius. So, pretty pretty funny character to exist. Would love to see a toy of him in the future. And who knows? Who knows what else Hasbro has in store for us? Um, probably not a lot of figures left coming out in the rest of the year because we are at the end of the year now. So, it seems like we're going to be finishing out this year with some new Skeleton Crew character so hopefully that means we're going to be going into 2025 with some more awesome characters still need a lot of the bad batch characters uh we still only have hunter in vc so there's a lot of ground to cover there i know it there's a lot of rumor and speculation amongst the fandom right now where maybe hasbro's waiting to unveil a haslab havoc marauder and I hope I hope they're not waiting on that because I feel like those characters should just be made available and maybe do some variants and um, with with the Haslab later. But that's just me personally. The point is we need to get more characters in VC Hasbro. Black Series has been eating good. We've got a lot of cool characters, a lot of great characters announced today. Um, and while we are getting some cool stuff in VC, it I feel like we should just get few more characters here and there what about you guys what are some characters from vc that you have been eagerly waiting for let me know in the comments down below maybe they're upcoming characters from the upcoming skeleton crew series or maybe they're characters from the ahsoka series maybe they're characters i just talked about like uh, shin hati and balen skull for example those are two both really cool characters that i would personally love to see in the vintage collection that have yet to be released. So let us know your thoughts down below. Yep, yep. And thank you, Dante. And yeah, uh, don't forget, guys, a lot of these figures are going up for pre-order soon. Some of them are fan channels, so for fan channel in the future that usually means places like bigbadtoystore.com and entertainmentearth.com gamestop.com and amazon typically when you hear the word fan channel it's usually those places and then of course you should also be able to order them on pulse um, with whatever quantities they put there so cool reveals looking forward to more uh excited for 2025 especially with the 20th anniversary of revenge of the sith being next year, Revenge of the Sith is my all-time favorite Star Wars movie. I love, love, love that movie. I'm very excited about that, Cody. And like I pointed out earlier, funny that he's the first one being put in the Revenge of the Sith packaging despite never being released in that packaging 20 years ago. But better late than never. And he looks, he looks so good on that card back so it really was a long time coming and I love that he comes with the hollow emitter of Darth Sidious I guess I'm just gonna have to buy another Cody I, I mean I already have Cody but I'm cool with getting another one this this one's just too cool and that Revenge of the Sith card back in six inch scale is gonna look really sweet so hopefully that means Hasbro will circle back in a few years and hit the 25th anniversary of Attack of the Clones Maybe they'll reissue Obi-Wan and Anakin on the Attack of the Clones card back. Maybe they'll do the Captain. Maybe we'll get the Super Battle Droid or a Dooku. Who knows? There's a lot of characters in Black Series that are in Attack of the Clones that could be reissued. And there's a lot of characters 
from Revenge of the Sith that can be repacked, as I mentioned earlier, and hopefully Hasbro will circle back and do some of those, as well as giving us some more new characters that we're missing, and hopefully also, you know, cross-release some of these characters in 3 3 quarter scale in VC as well for the 25th anniversary, because there were some really awesome Revenge of the Sith VC releases back in the day, and with some of the good re-updates that they've done with some of those Phase 1 releases, I can really see Hasbro really, really putting out an awesome update to the VC Revenge of the Sith Vader, where they're able to get more of that detail, get those Sith eyes even better right off the screen looking, because their face printing technology has drastically improved in the time that that particular Anakin figure got released and the Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan in VC. So there's a lot of awesome re-release and new character opportunity for VC for the 25th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith as well as Black Series and a lot of other cool potential from there. Who knows what else Hasbro has in store for us, but stay tuned for more of these fan stream reveals that they do and we will react to them as they happen or maybe a few days after but stay tuned because there's a lot of cool news and toy development in the future and make sure you're following rebelscum.com daily for daily toy news reviews and more follow us on social media here on youtube on facebook for live videos such as this or live gaming content i've also been live streaming star wars outlaws lately we will return to bounty hunters soon i promise i have not forgotten about bounty hunters i've just been having so much fun playing outlaws and i can only stream so often that right now that's just been taking up my focus but it's a lot of fun so check it out if you haven't already it's very cool and check out cool toy review our non-star wars toy news reviews and other fan content website where there's all kinds of really cool stuff a lot of awesome content coming this week the PulseCon Dino King set in particular that review should be going up sometime this week so stay tuned for that if you like Transformer content uh, if you like to pick up really cool Star Wars toys and collectibles check out our friends over at BigBadToyStore.com or EntertainmentEarth.com or for a live experience check out Order 66 Toys They've been around since 2010, serving Star Wars fans new and old all around the world. And for the past six and a half years, they've been going live on the Order 66 Toys Facebook page where they ship Star Wars toys and collectibles all around the world. Friday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time, showcasing all kinds of Star Wars toys and collectibles. And I talk about Star Wars characters, stories, fun facts, comics, legends, and more. So there's more than just looking at toys and stuff there. Um, join the CSWC on Facebook as well. It's a really cool group. It's a wonderful family. And check out CollectorsOracle.com. It's our checklist website where you can archive and mark things in Black Series and VC in particular in your collection absolutely free with a few other cool features as well. And there's also other products other than Star Wars on there that you can archive in your collection. Check out Rebel Scum Con. Year 2 is coming up. We had a blast at Year 1. And we've been talking to some pretty cool guests. That we are currently working on bringing you guys for Rebel Scum Con Year 2. And that's it for today. So we'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Stay tuned for more live content, reviews, and more. And may the Force be with all of you, you Rebel Scum. <laughs>